my YouTube people. Thanks for coming back to see just what I do today. Hope you're having a great day today. If you didn't know, my name is Stacy, and this is my channel called Just What I Do. It's a little bit of just what I do every day. And then on my Friday videos are trips to the mountains, the Colorado mountains. So if you're ever curious on what the Colorado mountains look like throughout the year, click into my Friday videos, and you'll see us fishing, wandering, going on adventures, hiking, seeing what kind of animals we see that day, snow fishing, river fishing, all kinds of fishing. We might even get to into some spear fishing this year. Not spear fishing, bow fishing this year. Sorry if I get it right. But anyways, thanks for clicking in to Just What I Do Today. Please subscribe, whack the like button, all that fun stuff that everybody tells you that they hope you'll do. But anyways, get in today's video. Today's video is how to make dandelion honey. Now I believe I have made this video before, but I called it dandelion jelly. But I'm going to make it again anyways. I try to make it every year, the dandelion honey. I call it honey because in my opinion, that's what it tastes like to me. I think it tastes like honey. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm not going to show you how to jar it. It's pretty straightforward how to jar it. If you wanted to, you, you could just keep this in a butter container. Now as you can see, I have a butt ton of dandelions. Now these are just the flowers. That's the only part you need is just the flowers. I'm going to show you how to wash them, prep them, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> you saw us picking some of these in trip 23 of this year. So if you go back and uh, uh, watch trip 23, you can see us picking some of these. Because these are, in my opinion, wild dandelions. We picked all of these from the mountains. So they're wild dandelions, so they'll have that extra sweet kick to them. So, I'm going to get into the ingredients really quick on how to make this dandelion honey. I am making a double batch because that's how much my family likes it. And plus, I'm going to be selling some by the jar. So, obvious, <coughs> obviously, you need a butt ton of dandelions. This is a double batch. There's six Ziploc bags here. Now, if you're making a single batch, you probably only need like one or two bags. But I like mine really potent. And again, I'm making a double batch. You are also going to need some pectin. This one is the liquid kind. This one is the powdered kind. It doesn't matter which one, just as long as you use one of them. Now, if you're, again, if you're making a single batch, cut everything of the ingredients in half. Like, you'll only need one box of these. I'm going to probably use like two, maybe three, depending on how things go. You will also need some lemon juice. I'm all out of lemon juice at the moment, so I'm substituting some lime juice. That'll work just fine. There's absolutely no reason why you can't use lime juice. Because we're only going to be using like four tablespoons. And then you also need a bunch of sugar. Now, a single recipe calls for 6 cups, so I'm going to be using 12 cups, because this is going to be a double batch. This is going to be a massive batch of dandelion honey. And then, of course, you need a big, huge pot to boil this all in. And then, eventually, if you're going to be jarring it, pick up some jars, lids and, and uh, rounds, all that fun stuff. Which I'm not showing how to jar it in this recipe, I'm just showing you how to make it. So, the first step into making this dandelion honey is to clean your dandelions. Now, some of them still have the stems to them. You just want to pluck that off because this is the only part we're going to need is just the flowers. So we're going to go through all six bags and make sure that it's just the flowers. No stems, no leaves, no nothing. So I'm gonna run through all six bags real quick. Make sure that there's just the flowers, no stems, no leaves. 
I'm going to rinse them in some cold water, drain them pretty well, put them all in this pot, and when they're all in this pot, I'll show you the next step. So I'm going to go through all these bags real quick, be back in a minute. Okay, we've got all the, well not all those dandelions, most of those dandelions. I still have a couple bags, which I'll save for another batch later. But as you can see, we got this pot pretty much full of dandelion flowers. We got most of the stems out. I just rinsed them under cold water a couple times just to get off any dirt or grime and whatnot from the outdoors. Now, if you're, as you're boiling them, you come across ones with stems or you come across leaves or, or, or whatnot, just pluck it out, no big deal. But the next step after you rinse, clean them and rinse them is to cover them with water. Now if you're doing a small batch, you just want to bring the water to the top of the flowers. Sorry, I was trying to pay attention. Let me get some more water real quick. Now again, we're just adding enough water to cover the flowers to where you'd be able to stir them because as you can see, the flowers do float. So every once in a while you want to come through and push them down in. Well, not with your hand once it starts boiling, but with a spatula later. Right now I'm just trying to make sure they all hit the water. As you can see, it's covering the top of the flowers now, which is exactly what we want. If you come across blades of grass or long stems, now a few little bit of stem is okay. But uh, so we're going to let this go until it comes to a boil. And then I'll show you the next step once this comes to a boil. Again, I'm just going to come through every once in a while with a spatula and push all this down. Give it a little stir. Make sure we get all them dandelions in that, that water. See? Missed that one. So, I'm going to let this come to a boil. As I said before, I'll bring it back in a little bit. We'll move on to the next step. Now as you can see, that is just now coming up to a boil. So now we are going to turn it down to medium and let this simmer for 30 minutes. And we're going to let this simmer for 30 minutes and on occasion we're going to come through and give it a good stir. Just like so. Now I'll bring you back in 30 minutes when this is done simmering. So here we go for 30 minutes. Okay, the timer's just about ready to go off. It's been simmering for, as I said, 30 minutes. Now we're going to shut this off. We are going to strain all this into another pot and hopefully this will come out to, the pot liquor that's left in here, will come out to 10 cups. Now if it doesn't come out to 10 cups, we'll just add water till it does make 10 cups. Now if you are doing a smaller recipe, like I said before, I am doubling this recipe, you want this to come out to about 4 cups. Sorry, I was trying to read my recipe. You want this to come out to 4 cups of pot liquor. Now if it doesn't come out to four, four cups, just add enough water till it does become four cups. So I am going to strain all this into another pot real quick um, through a mesh sieve, a fine strainer, whatever you want to call it, to catch any of the, you know, the, the petals and whatnot and Although it's not bad to eat the petals, it's not going to hurt you if you get a petal in your stuff, but still. I'm going to strain it and squeeze as much liquid out of all these dandelions as possible. 
Now when I come back, I'll show you the next step. So I'm going to strain all this, make it come out to 10 cups, then we'll start adding the pectin, sugar, lime juice, all that fun stuff to make this come out to dandelion jelly. So I'm going to strain this real quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, we've switched out pots now, as you can tell, it is a rather full pot. Now again, I did double this recipe, so if you want to make the smaller batch, just cut everything in half. For right now, we are going to bring this up to a roving boil, a massive boil, whatever you want to call it. And then we are going to add our sugar. Add our lemon juice or lime juice, whichever one you happen to have. I have lime juice at the moment. And then we're going to add our pectin, bring that to a massive boil, consistently, continuously stirring it. And then our dandelion honey will be done. Now, whatever you do, do not try it at this point. It is nasty at this point without the sugar and lime juice in it. But yeah, so we're going to let this come to a boil, which it shouldn't take very long. As you can see, I got all of it strained out. No, no leaves, no petals, no nothing. And then I squished all the dandelions to get as much juice out as possible. Again, if you're making this in a smaller batch, you want your pot liquor to come out to four cups. If it doesn't come out to four cups, just add a little bit of water till it does become four cups. And then add six cups of sugar and two tablespoons of lemon juice and one packet of pectin. Whether it be the liquid or the powdered version of pectin, it doesn't matter. Just use one of those. I'm going to use the liquid one first. If it doesn't seem like it's the right consistency, I'll move on to the powder, since I have both. But, uh, this, the smaller recipe that I was just explaining, makes about three pints of jelly. Or honey. Makes about three jars, three pints of honey. This one is going to make a heck of a lot more, because I, again, doubled the recipe. So we're just going to wait a little bit till that comes back to a boil. When it does, I'll bring it back and we'll start adding in our ingredients. Okay, as you can see, we are boiling big time now. Now is when you want to add all your ingredients. Now as you can see that it's starting to foam up a little bit. If you want... Whew, I almost made a mess. If you don't want it to foam up so much, add about a tablespoon excuse me, a teaspoon or so of margarine to the pot, like I just did. And that should take care of the foaming, so it doesn't foam up on you. Just want to blop a little thing of margarine in there, and it should take care of the foaming. Just let that melt in there. See? No more foaming. Yeah, it's still melting, but that's alright. So the first thing we're going to add is our about six tablespoons of lime juice. Now if you're doing this in the smaller batch, you just want to do like three tablespoons of lime juice. Give that a good stir. And now we are going to be adding our 12 cups of sugar. Now if you're doing this in the smaller amount, that would be six cups of sugar. Now if you go to taste in it, taste it. Now if you go tasting it and it tastes kind of bitter, you need to add some more sugar. We want it sweet, not bitter. So in goes my 12 cups of sugar. Whew, that's a full pot. Give that a good stir, make sure all that sugar is dissolving. Now I know what you're thinking, oh how nasty, you're eating a weed? 
it's better than you think. Don't knock it till you try it. I thought it was a little weird the first time I heard of it too. And I think it really tastes good. Now before we go adding our pectin, we are going to give this a taste real quick. Just to make sure it has enough sugar in it. Now that tastes pretty good, because at this point, if it tastes bitter, you want to add more sugar. This is the time you want to add more sugar. But I think it's pretty good right there. So we're going to bring this back up to a light boil. Not as much as it was before, since it's so full. Once it comes back up to a light boil, we'll add our pectin in. Now since this is such a big pot, I am going to be using both packets of the liquid pectin and one of the powder. Now it doesn't matter which one you use, just as long as you use one of them. Okay, as you can see, it's starting to come back to a boil. We've already added our sugar and our, our lemon juice or lime juice. I'm going to turn this down so it doesn't overboil and make a sticky mess all over my stove. You see all this yellow on the top? That is actually pollen from the flowers. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can eat that. It won't hurt you. It won't make you sick. It won't make you nothing. Make you nothing. Hmm. So now we are going to be adding in our pectin. Now for this amount, I am going to be adding two things of the liquid pectin and one thing of the powder. I'm going to go with the powder first. Let's get that all in there. Give that a good stir. Because obviously that is not enough to do this whole pot. Now if you're doing the smaller version, you will only need one. I'm going to pour in the liquid pectin. It's all the same thing, this is just a liquid form. Same as the powder, just different name. One's powder, one's liquid. No big deal, it doesn't matter which one you use, just as long as you use one. Or in my case, three. Pink Supers had the liquid ones on Markdown, so that's what I grabbed. We're going to put in this last one, and then we're going to bring it to a boil, and we're going to continuously stir it for two minutes. When that two minutes up, your dandelion honey should be finished and ready to be jarred or containered or whatever the heck you want to put it in. So we just want to stir that pectin in real quick. without making a mess because oi this is full. Probably should have used a bigger pot. But oh well. Is what it is. So I'm going to turn the heat back up. When it starts to become to a, a boil again, we will set the timer for two minutes and continuously stir this for two minutes. Now, if you want this to be set like jelly, then add another thing of pectin. Me, I'm just going for a light consistency of honey. That's why I call it dandelion honey. Because that's what the flavor reminds me of, is of honey. It's good on toast, on fruit, on cake, on a spoon cookies. It's pretty much good. Anything you would put honey on, this is good on it. Even Bear thinks so. Ok, 
Okay, that's starting to come back to a boil, so I am going to set the timer for two minutes. And continuously stir the whole time. Now, if you were going to put this in jars, you'd just want hot, sterile jars ready to go. You'd ladle it into your jars, clean the rim, put your flat lid on, put your ring on, boil it, boil the jar, and then you'd set it out and hopefully the lid sets. I've had it to where they didn't want to set, so I had to get new flats, it's annoying. But I'm not going to show you that part in this one, I'm just showing you how to make the dandelion honey. What you do with it after that is up to your discretion. If you want to put it in jars and put it on the shelf, it has a lifetime, you know, for quite some time, just like any other jelly. If you put it on your shelf and have, you know, proper seal on your jars. Or if you want to just pour it in a big container and put it in a fridge, it'll last a couple months. Two, three months, I don't really know. It doesn't last that long in my house. And plus, as I said before, I am going to be selling some of it. That's why there's such a big pot. Now, I normally have jars like this is what I sell, or even the little, little smaller ones like, oh, don't make a mess. Jars like this, I usually sell for three or four bucks. Let me down below, let me know down below in the comments if you think three or four bucks for that jar is a good price. Or if I'm too high. I don't know, you tell me. Now again, if you were going to put this in jars, you'd want hot jars ready to go. You would just straight slap them in. So there we go, our two minutes are up. So we're going to pull this off the burner. Let it cool a little bit, and our dandelion jelly is done. And our dandelion honey is done. So I'm going to slide this off the burner, let this cool for a little bit. When we come back in a minute or two, we'll give it a try. So here is the finished product. It is not completely cool yet, so it's still a little liquidy, but I put some in little jars like this. They're all ready to go, ready to be sold, or handed out, or eaten, or whoever wants to eat it, whoever wants it, whatever. Again, I sell them for like four bucks a jar this size. Let me know down in the comments if that's, you know, a decent price for that size jar. As you can see, it does kind of have a honey look to it. It might be a little darker, but it still has a honey look to it. <clears throat> Again, it's still rather on the warm side. Is why it's not completely set yet. As it cools, it will set. Because as you can see, it's not quite honey yet. Because it is super hot still. But we can at least give it a taste. Be careful, it's super hot. What'd you think? It was really hot still, huh? It's kind of hard to tell the way it tastes when it's super hot. But we're gonna enjoy this whole giant pot of dandelion honey. Wild dandelion honey that we plucked from the Colorado mountains. All the flowers in trip 23 and in 24, I just didn't show it in 24. So that's why we had so many dandelions. So I hope you'll give this recipe a try. This honey or jelly or whatever the heck you want to call it is loaded with iron. You wouldn't think that a dandelion would be that tasty. But if you look on the back of the high-end fancy salads, they have dandelion greens in them. So you, are, you can eat the greens. You can eat the whole plant. It's just... Most people prefer not to. Me, I like to make dandelion honey out of it. So, that's going to wrap up this video. Just finished up my dandelion honey. Hope you'll give this recipe a try. Again, I did double the recipe. If you want 
you know, the ingredients and all that fun stuff, let me know down in the comments before, below and I'll write out the ingredients for you to make in a smaller batch. So that's going to finish up this video. I hope you'll give this a try. It is better than it sounds. It is better than it looks. Dandelion honey. I also have a recipe for a quick grape jelly. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to have that recipe. It's really super simple. It has like maybe three ingredients in it and that's it. And then you need jars and stuff. But, but yeah, it's super simple. So let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see the quick grape jelly recipe. So again, I'm going to stop rambling. I need to get rolling and get this video out for y'all. So again, I hope you'll give this recipe a try. Please whack the like button if you like this video. If you didn't like this video, let me know why down in the comments. So again, please subscribe, whack the like button, leave me a comment down below on what you think of this recipe. I hope you'll give it a try, and I'll see you next time on Just What I Do. Thanks for watching. Seriously, if you made it this far. Give this recipe a try, it's better than you think. Later taters!